What's the difference between APY and APR in crypto? If you're investing your money or taking out a loan, you've likely come across the terms APY and APR. While they sound similar, they refer to different things and can have a significant impact on your finances. So having an understanding of these two is essential. APY stands for Annual Percentage Yield, while APR stands for Annual Percentage Rate. Both are used to represent the interest rate on a financial product, such as a savings account, loan, credit card, or even staking crypto. APR is the simple interest rate charged by the lender or the return earned by the investor, expressed as a percentage of the amount borrowed or invested. For example, if you borrow $1,000 with an APR of 10%, you'll owe $1,100 after one year, $1,200 after two years, and so on. APY, on the other hand, takes compounding into account. Compounding is the process of earning interest on the interest earned, which can significantly increase the return on investment or the amount owed on a loan. For example, if you invest $1,000 with an APY of 10%, you'll earn $100 after one year. But after two years, you'll earn 10% out of $1,100, which is $110. Understanding the difference between APY and APR is crucial because it can help you compare financial products accurately. For example, if you're comparing two savings accounts with different interest rates and compounding periods, using the APR method to make your decision could lead to a misleading comparison. Instead, you should use the APY, which takes compounding into account and gives you a more accurate picture of the returns you can expect. The same with every other financial product out there. In the world of cryptocurrency, APY and APR are often used to describe the returns on staking or lending your digital assets. Staking involves holding your cryptocurrency in a wallet to help validate transactions on the blockchain network and earn rewards, while lending involves lending your cryptocurrency to others and earning interest on it. In this context, APY is a more useful metric because it takes compounding into account. For example, if you stake your cryptocurrency and earn a 10% APY, your earnings will be compounded regularly, leading to higher returns over time. However, it's essential to note that the APY is not a guarantee of future returns, and the actual returns can vary based on the network's performance and other factors. Therefore, it's crucial to do your research before staking or lending your cryptocurrency and understand the risks involved. In a nutshell, APY and APR are two financial metrics that help you make informed decisions about your finances, be it in crypto or in traditional finance. Subscribe to Satoshi Club.